Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good How are evening. you doing today? I was today, teacher, nice in my job. Okay, did you work today? It was a very nice day? Yes, very nice. Okay, good. Excellent. Good evening, Hilbert, uh, Hilberto, Daniela, Carlos, Robert. Welcome to this class. How are you doing today? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Oh, good evening, teacher. Very well. Thank you so much. What about you? Nice. Nice teacher, reload. Okay, good. That is good. How was yeah. your weekend? Nice teacher. Nice. Uh, yes, I was uh, walking the park. Um, ate a little bit of fruits. Uh, I don't know, it's like a snack or like a frituras. Oh, uh, that is not healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Because for the reason I, I have very panson this year. <laughs> very panson. Okay. Very well, yes, I mean, we can eat that kind of snacks, but uh, so make sure that Try you don't eat. It. Yeah, make sure that you don't eat every day. Try right? just once a week, maybe. Or yes. once a month. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, teacher, me too. Okay. But uh, when I saw this snack, you know, the smell and and I don't know, it's irresistible. I don't know, it's irresistible. Irres ir irresistible. Let me let me double check. I get I irresistible. Irresistible. Mm -hmm. Irresistible. Yes. yes. Irresistible. 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 Yeah, for for the reason I, I try to avoid to walking close to the park. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Well, um <clears throat> thank you so much for being here, guys. Uh thank you so much for being on time. Okay, November today is November six. 2023 this is the class 23 so what the topic for today so we have a lesson objective then we have a the effects of risk and hazards at the workplace okay and at the end we're going to have a conversation at the end of this uh, class you will be able to discuss the the effects of risk and hazards on the business operation Okay, good. Before we present the poster, do you remember that we have a pending activity that is called the post poster that is about measures that your coworkers should take at work, right? So we had that activity pending, but before we do that, so I'm going to send to you a link okay we are going to we're going to to check five tips for war, for workplace safety okay just allow me a moment and then let me send it to you so i will send it here but this zoom chat and also here in WhatsApp. They share every every seven seconds. Mm -hmm. Exists an accident that employees. Yeah. Really. Wow. Well, around the world, right? So different. Yes, places. yes, of course. But uh -huh. imagine every seven seconds. Yeah. 
Okay, so I already sent to you the link. It has one minute and 19 seconds. So I will give you three minutes in order you can you can uh, reproduce the video twice. Take note, because we're going to discuss that. Okay? So you can start okay, now. Okay. Thank you.
Okay, did you finish? Or do you need more time? Can you hear me? Yes, it's yes, it's a you are yes. a hard worker, yes. but it doesn't okay. mean you can do okay. any company policy. Good. Good. Anna, remember the phrases we've learned about a misunderstanding. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh. I think uh, we're thing. going to start. Okay. Sorry, can... who is is having no. the the video? No. Reproducing the video. Please try to stop. I went down to the warehouse to speak to Mr. Engel, and well, someone else was smoking. What? Someone was smoking. Okay. Um. Tell me. Okay, it says that it's about five tips for workplace safety, okay? Because every seven seconds, an employee gets injured on the job, right? So I want that uh, you, as a volunteer, tell me one of the five steps, uh, tips, I'm sorry, that we can take into account at the workplace. Just mention one of them. Teacher, Be a volunteer. Yes, Carlos? Me, teacher. Uh, for example, the number one is address in safe condition immediately. Okay. Okay. So it, it, it says that if you see or if an employee report that there is a unsafe condition in the workplace, you need to uh -huh, pay attention to it, right? And try to uh, try to take care of that or solve it immediately to avoid any problem, any, any um, in this case, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got the allergy. Thank you. Yes. In this case, any um situation that can hurt or uh tend to someone's life, to an employee life, right? Okay, good. What about number two? What do you remember about number two? Number two teacher is maintenance to tools, equipment, and other. In, in other words, is um, check the machinery, the machine, check the area, different areas, and, and get a ma maintenance, maintenimiento. Maintenance, yes. Okay, very good. Tools and machines are the most common cause of the workplace injuries right so in this case if if um all of them are in uh i mean regularly i check and inspect so that will make sure that uh the the machines are in in a appropriate use right and that can avoid any accident with the employees Okay, good. Number three, what about number three? Who remember the number three? Number three is using PPE. For example, boots, hammer, gloves, glasses, and others. Helmet, okay. Very good, yes. Use the appropriate um equipment right to work what you are wearing to do your work okay very good number four someone else not only Ka robert and, and carlos i need another volunteer what about number four uh-huh mr rolando yes Don Gilberto, 
or Maria Leticia, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or Maria Leticia. Uh, <clears throat> the number two. Number four. Oh. Prevent sleep and falls. Okay, very good. How we're going to prevent the sleep and falls in our workplace? <clears throat> okay, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> and yes, yes. The, for example, in my uh, workplace, uh, the supervisor of uh, safety, uh, they both uh, maybe things uh, that I've used in the in the floor but a boy to sleep or in your defects fall mm -hmm. is like a anti deslizante i don't know how do you say anti deslizante teacher mm, but what can it is the the it is a yeah. um like a material they use or is the floor yeah. that it that is anti deslizante Maybe in the in the upstairs could be and they they put uh anti deslizante and the uh, specific songs too uh, when the warehouse uh, have a vacation maybe uh, I don't know is when it's like uh when you uh go to the Waterhouse, we need to uh use the maybe like a couple of, of upstairs, right? Mm -hmm. And then we need to uh, the supervisor about to uh in the up upstairs maybe it's like a anti deslizante teacher. Anti sleep. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Anti sleep. Mm -hmm. Is I don't know. It's like a. And maybe uh I don't know, it's just como una tela or, 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 or something that put in the the floor in the upstairs. Yes, the floor. The, oh, okay. It's, it's but it's not a carpet. I mean I guess it's different. Uh, yes, it is actually is uh in the edge of the of the upstairs, you have put uh, maybe four centimeters of the anti sleep, mm. right? Oh, when okay, you okay. put the 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 step, it's very uh, safety. Uh, when you uh, when you walk on the up, on the upstairs yes. or yes. downstairs, okay? Or downstairs, yes. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. Good example. Okay, what about number five? Uh, teacher number five, a make regular inspection. Mm -hmm. Make regular uh, inspections. Okay. In the case in my company, uh, my boss regularly inspection they were in, in the company. Okay, make inspections. Okay, to check that everything is okay. In, yes. inspe inspections in general, right? Okay, yes. very good. Thank you so much. Um, We're going to move on to another activity. Well, now we'll be to the posters that you have. Let me know if you are ready to present your posters, or if you need more time, I can give you extra uh, minutes to complete them. Who is ready? Mm -hmm.
please let me know. So do you need extra time? I guess yes, because you you uh don't say anything to me. Do you need extra time to complete the posters? that are about measures, new safety measures at the workplace? Yes or not? Yes, yes, teacher, please. Uh, I think that we need a little bit more for to organize the presentation. Okay. I Remember think... that it's just a, just a one poster that you're going to present, okay? Sorry, Who's, who Me? was speaking? Yes, Cindy? Uh, my team is ready, I think, but Andres is a listener. Okay, well, you can present the poster, uh, only you. And Carlos. <clears throat> okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, please raise your hands if you need extra minutes. If no, I, I will assume that you are ready. Lady says she needs extra minutes. Who else? Lady who was working with you. I'm sorry that I didn't take the names. Gilberto. Gilberto. Who else? Mm. Ole Gilberto? Julio, creo. And Julio. Julio. Carlos, what about you? Who was your it's, partner? It's okay, teacher. It's okay. Uh, yeah, I think that we are ready with uh, Cindy. Cindy, you and Cindy. And who yeah. who else was in your team, Carlos? Uh, Andresito, but Andresito is, is right now like a listener. Okay, good. Okay, Roberto, Carlos, did you work in that activity? No, teacher, last Friday I... I had a problem with with my computer because don't work my my audio. Oh, okay. Understood. Um let me see. Maria Leticia, who was working with you? Yes, teacher. Who was working with you, Maria Leticia? Oh, um... Con Daniela, me parece. Daniela, and? Oh, es, no, Ay, espérenme, déjenme ver el contacto. <laughs> Permítanme. I'm sorry, they didn't take a picture of uh, the... the I'm Nancy. Robot. Daniela Nancy. and Nancy. Que se, según que solo con Nancy, pero allí estaba alguien más solo de oyente que no dijo nada, y, pero ahí estaba... <laughs> Okay. Gabriela Granados, what about you? Did you work on that activity? Gabby? <coughs> Hi, did you work on Friday? Gabriela? Working. In the poster activity, the safety measures. Uh, Yes, yes. Wow. Oh, I don't know. It's a man teacher, but I don't know the, the number. So did you work with someone, but you don't remember his name? Rolando? Yes, I don't remember. <laughs> but it's, it's men. 
Okay, did you work with her, Rolando? Hello, Rolando. teacher. No? Hello, hello. Who was your partner, Rolando? Uh, I don't know, teacher, the last Friday I had a problem with my internet. You didn't work. Okay. Uh, Kathy, what about you? Um, I was not present in the previous class, teacher. No? Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Um, so, Mauricio Buruca, what about you? Do you remember? Uh, hello, teacher. No, I, I was just listening on Friday. Okay. Okay. In that case, we have just four teams. We have Lady, Gilberto, and Julio. We have Carlos, Cindy, and Andres. Maria Leticia, Daniela, and Nancy. But just Maria Leticia and Nancy work. And then Daniela, but you don't remember who was your partner. I guess it's not here because we don't have more uh, students here. Rodriguez, you didn't attend classes, right? So, you were as a listener. No teacher. I, I am. Yes. No. Okay. I remember that. Okay. Okay. Carlos, if you are ready, you can start now with Cindy. Let me stop sharing. Okay. Cindy, are you ready? Uh, yes, I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, Please, uh, could you share oh. the, the presentation, please? Or screen? Okay. Okay, I can. Okay. 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 No, I can. I already activated. Multiple participants ah, can share. If, if you don't uh, uh, can share, I, I try to share, maybe. Okay, try Carlos. Okay, just give me one second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Se okay. Yes, we can see it. Okay, Cindy, are you ready? Sí. Yes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, we are talking about uh, for a topic very, very important uh, for to avoid accident in the old company. And uh, in the brainstorm, uh, the last weekend, the last Friday, uh, talk uh, with this topic, and we, uh, I remember that the problem uh, more important is uh, the culture, right? The culture is a big problem because the the people uh, don't have care uh, themselves because uh, so in some case they are trying it but uh, however they don't uh, to do or or go ahead the the instruction but uh, with Cindy uh, and Andresito try to identify three uh, more routes that can be um, used in the company. Uh, please, Cindy. Okay. This is our flyer, I think. Um, it's the, about the, in the work in the production plan and pay attention with the hazard when you are inside of the production plant. In the number one, we 
This is how they use the right tools and equipment and use them in the right way. The number two say as is direct before you approach your work. And the number three is if you are not trained, don't do it. You have been working. Okay. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, only that? Uh, yes, the, uh, teacher, uh, I think that the last one is the very, very important. Because, yes. Uh, the employees uh, try to uh, try and the, the company try to try and employees and they don't have uh, uh, trying it, uh, please don't do it because it's a very danger to inhure it. Only that. Okay. That will be the very dangerous and you can get injury. an injury. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Good job. Okay. Uh, Maria Leticia, are you ready? Okay, Jay. Okay, you can go ahead and keep saying. So Maria Leticia and Nancy, okay? Is Nancy here? Is Nancy, no, it's not Nancy. So, so in this case, Maria Leticia will be only you. Is that okay? Okay. Nancy no se puede conectar todavía, Miss. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, the attention new safety measure measures measures safety measure to avoid injuries in an office the number one security measure mark hallways and corridors with tape on colored paint uh, security measure to improve safety on stair with hundreds, hundreds uh, lifting and signage and provide traction or slippery surface. Surfaces. Surfaces. And security measure three of safety labels and seem to work of temporary or permanent hazard. Hazards. 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 Okay, and the first one that says mark always. Mm, what do you mean with with that? I guess it's, there is some uh misspelling there. Do you mean always the siempre, or do you want to say an, a different word? What is? Uh, can you spell it for me because I cannot see it very well. It is H A 
L L W A Y S. Yes. That is the that is the word, right? Oh, okay. Es como... Hallway. Yes. yes. Hallway. It is um it is yes, it's como un corredor. Un corredor, dice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Correct. Okay. Good. Uh... Okay, very good. Good measures to have in your job. Okay. Excellent posters and the images are really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, Maria Leticia? Okay. What about you, Gabby? Are you ready? Gabby? Sorry, teacher. I send the, the phone, our phone. In the chat. Did you send it to the WhatsApp group? Yes. Okay. So let me show you. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let mm -hmm. me share that for you. Okay. I don't know. Here you have it. Okay, uh, this, this is for the most critical number of um, its position. Number one, uh, it's a little light in the sky and sky in area, and no uh, uh, The solution the problem or danger is in my and uh, lighting in in area. And number two, um, liquid is split in the dry crossing area. The solution is report the accident and ocean thing and the area and the immediately attain. Number the standard, the situation standard, is the object that observes the state of the trial um, in the same traffic area. The solution is to manage an organization of work and materials. And this is the um, recommendation for the Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Signage. Okay, signage. This is the this is the mm -hmm. uh, signage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, passage. Passage. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. passage. And also we have this word. Pedestrian. 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 Okay. Signaling. Risk signaling an organization of, of work materials. Okay. Very good. Good. Good poster. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Gabby, so uh, what about you, lady? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, so you can share your screen.
the number one uh, is, is slow down. Um, when you go down the stairs, do it slowly. The number two is a use protective equipment. When entering dangerous areas, use safety equipment. Number three, slowly, slowly walk. Be careful when walking in wet areas, you may fall. Number four, do not drink or apply to ice. Use the alcohol gel only on your hands or areas you want to dis disinfect. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Slow. Slow, okay. It's slow down. It's slow down. It's slow down. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, lady. Okay, really good job. Good good postures. Thank so you, you. You can um stop sharing now. And let me continue sharing my presentation. Thank you so thank you so much. Uh the ones that participated. Okay. Um I have a question for you. It is about the same topic. We are now talking about safety measures. Would the lack of safety measures put the operations of a business in danger? What could be some effects of? So what are your opinions? Personal opinions about that question? So do you consider that in your company company that you work for you have all the safety measures to avoid any uh in this case dangers for you or do you consider that your company need to improve the measurements that they have to prevent any accident the chair yes in my opinion, it's very important to have a measure of safety because it's very important to to the employers and the the lack of safety measure at the company is 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 dangerous because um one employee can can have an accident and the effect for the company is is several um first um lost the the employee because um, the employee is probably had a, a one month or two months left and the other the company is probably lost production uh because the uh, the accident mm -hmm. is is dangerous for the company this is my opinion about the question okay that is true right so if the if the operation has less workers so that will be um no a hundred percent working like it should be working right the operation will be endangered yes and of course the company will have a uh, effect okay when we use several uh roberto it means uh more than one okay so that means that it's plural so before that okay. so the verb will be are okay are, there are. several are several okay mm -hmm. okay Thanks. good thank you so much another opinion sure. 
Yes, Carlos. Teacher, I think that uh, we are like employees and inside of the company is good. Uh, we have uh, a lot of rules, it's safety, but I think that the problem could be teacher when you put one step up upside. Uh, I think that we need to uh, like a catwalk maybe, or, or I don't know how to say pasarela, or to across the street and the other side. Mm -hmm. For me, that is very important because uh, uh, it's very in danger when the people are uh, running the, across the street, you know, and uh, in this moment, I have maybe one house just to work in, in, in the company, but we have uh, been maybe two or three cases that the people have accident, right? Uh, because they uh, across uh, the streets in uh, for this reason uh, uh, the car broke uh, los atropellan or, or, or I don't know how to say it, atropellar but they can suffer a car accident um a suffer an accident yes okay yes you can say foot bridge when you said um la pasarela right so you can say foot bridge Footbridge. Footbridge. Mm -hmm. Ah, footbridge. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, you said that in front of your company, there is no a footbridge. And that is yes. why it could be dangerous. Yes, of course. Okay. Maybe the company, they have considered that uh, this benefit for the for the uh, employees, right? Because yes. uh, maybe it could be, uh, 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 I don't know how to say, Baja, when the people is uh, incapacitado or employees. Disability. Is disability, yes. When the employee is in, in disability. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Yes, um, there are, I mean, different effects on so this case, right? If the employees suffered that uh dangers or, or they are uh, as you said in this case, if they are hit by a car, you can say if they in in the situation that they just are crossing the street and they are, they are hit by a car, so they are they get an injury. So they get probably one month disability. Yes, yes, yes. And that course. will um uh, in some case uh, we effects. have we have a uh, personal uh, specifically as specific I don't know how to say appropriate personal, personal or appropriate. Specific, a specific personal for yes, a specific personal for uh they have, they um, fix the machines. Mm, okay, so, like technicians. Yes, technician. Yes, yes. It's probably when the uh, of course when when the employees live in in her home car, and the visibility is is. Uh, it's a problem because a lot of people go out and in the in la salida. I don't know how to say salida, teacher. Exit. Yes, yes. A lot of people is a crowd in the in the exit. So when I I try to left and I incorporate on the street, I I I don't a good vision because the people mm. uh yes hitting the uh I don't know miss miss the viewer of the other car to incorporation my car on the street. So they but, don't respect like the the area of the pedestrian area. So they just 
cross the streets. Yes, the, the bus stop is irregular, right? Because the people uh, have signal before to the bus stop uh, in whatever uh, place the employees give the uh, parada at the bus. <laughs> the bus stop. So, uh -huh. and also they, so they don't tarada. respect, they don't respect yes. that. They don't specific respect the place. Point. Uh -huh. Yes, a specific point. Yes, this is the idea. Okay, yes, be careful because it is easy, very easy that uh, to cause an accident. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to continue. We have here a conversation. It is between Gladys and Miguel. Have just finished working on a risk assessment analysis and the creation of a safety measures manual. Now they are working about a competitor at the, <clears throat> at the eye of the storms. So I need volunteers to read this conversation. Thank you so much, Carlos, Andres, Lady. Okay, first will be Carlos and Andres. Carlos or Robertillo? Roberto, I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Robert and Andres, and then Lady and Carlos. <clears throat> then Gilberto and Mauricio. Mm -hmm. And then Maria Leticia. We're going to see who will work with Maria Leticia. Okay, you can go ahead now. Okay, are you ready, Andresito? Yes. Okay, I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process in the safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more. Rec recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy ma machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effect might be on their, on their way. Love of, loss of customers, love of trust in the organization, and eventually fin financial loss. Totally, I'm so relieved we're done with, with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, here competitors. Competitor. Okay. Competitor. Manipulating, right? Manipulating a heavy, heavy machinery. Manipulating. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. <clears throat> now, oh, okay. here is financial. Financial Finance. lost. Financial loss. Financial. Okay. Financial lost. Okay, thank you so much, Carlos and Andres. Uh, I mean, uh, Roberto. So now will be Lady and Carlos. Lady, you okay. will be Gladys. I, I am Gladys. Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> you will be Gladys. Okay, I am glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some new about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee that died when manipul manipulating his machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. 
a chain of negative effect make beyond data weight, loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I am so relieved. We are done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Thank you so much. Publicity. Publicity. Okay. Publicity. Publicity. Yes. And this one, remember, that is ending with CH. The, the final sound will be T. Okay. Washed. Okay. Washed. Yes. Okay. Teacher, what's mean? Su. 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 El, su. 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 Demandados. Excuse me. De, eh, demandarlos. They were su. Ah, demandado. Ajá, los demandaron. As a legal, ah. uh, it's a legal uh, process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, very good. Relieved. And this one is relieve, like I'm happy, right? Uh, because relieved. it happens to you, to me. Uh -huh. Relieve is como aliviado. Yes. Relieve. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much, Lady and Carlos. Now, Gilberto and Mauricio. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Yeah. Uh, have, have machinery or maybe it's a heavy? Machinery. Um, the so if that is with um at the end, why it's in yellow? Heavy. That will be heavy, right? Hmm. Okay. So I guess it was a mistake. Yeah, I Let think. Me so. see. Yeah, it was a mistake. Yeah, you should be heavy. Heavy machine <laughs> machinery. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay, now um Gilberto Mauricio, go ahead. Okay. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more recently. I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my God, SAS, bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad, bad publicity. A chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Continue, Gilberto. Here. Totally. Okay. Totally. I'm, I'm so relieved we're done with the safety mission of man. No, we want to plan it is implementation to reduce accident how much as possible. Much as possible. Thank you so much. Okay, very good. So just pay attention here in this verb. Okay, how do you pronounce that verb in past tense? This final sound is T. Okay. T, okay, washed. Okay, yes. very good. Thank you so much. Um, now will be <clears throat> Maria Leticia and Rodrigo. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more. 
Recently, I watched some news about one of our, of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machine heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I am so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. No, we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. And Sophia wants to participate. Okay. Who else wants to participate with Sophia? Another volunteer? The ones that haven't participated? Hello. Hey, teacher. Julio? Yeah. Okay. Julio, go ahead. Sophia, you are Gladys, and then Julio is Miguel. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more. Uh, recently, I watched I watched uh, some news about one of our competitors. Uh, they were sued because of an employee uh, died when manipulating uh manipulating uh head machinery machinery oh my that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company yeah uh let alone bad publicity a chain of negative effect might be uh may might be on their way uh loss of customers loss of trust in the organization and eventuality a financial cost loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Yes, now we want to plan its implementation to reduce okay. accidents okay. as much as possible. Okay, thank you so much. <clears throat> Competitor. Please repeat that, uh, Julio. Competitor. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Manipulated. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Machinery. It's like um the sound of the letter uh, R. It is. Manipulated. Mm -hmm. Manipulating, yes. Yeah, Sounds you, like you. R. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Publicity. Machinery. Mm -hmm. And also machinery. Machinery. Okay. Publicity. Eventually. Yeah. Publicity eventually. 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 Yes. Eventually. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Do you have questions about this uh, vocabulary that we have here? <clears throat> no? Okay, very good. So we're going to move on. I have a vocabulary related to um, hazards and risk in the companies, right? So. We're going to match the words and phrases that describe the effects that are caused by the hazards and risk to their, to their definitions. We have here contamination. We have casualties, property damage, loss of customers, financial loss, and business interruption. I'm going to give you three minutes. Try to match the meanings, okay, in your mind, and then I'm going to ask you.
But if you work with your uh, material also, you can do it there in, in the material. Casualty. Okay, a casual casualty or casualties. I will help you with that one. Okay, is a person that can be killed or injured in an accident. In this case, in a company, right? The company accident. Or it could be also in a worm. Teacher, casualties when the some employees die. Mm -hmm. Casualties is when the employee dies in an accident, operated in a machine. It could be. Uh, okay. Mm Teacher, but casualty is uh means a damnificado or damnificada maybe, which depend on the context. Well, um, it is when a person has been killed or harmed by a serious accident. Could mm -hmm. be in a, okay. in a in a workplace, <clears throat> okay. 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 Or also, or it could be in a warm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It could be also in a dis destructive event that can happen, like a tsunami. Yeah, damnificado, it, as you said, is different, right? But this one, yes, it is that has been affected by a tsunami. Okay, so mm -hmm. it can be it can be damnificado. Okay. So let me just look for the correct word. I remember that word. A uh, damnificado it could be a victim or a survivor. Mm -hmm. You can say a survivor or a victim. Okay. Okay. But casual casualty is only used in this case. It is used, yes, when uh someone has been affected, right? It could be uh in working. Right, that has been affected in this case operating a machine. It could be affected by a tsunami, any natural disaster. Mm -hmm, okay. 
or also it could be affected in a warm. Okay, good. So, tell me, let me see, Gilberto, what will be contamination, number one? Contamination, <clears throat> was mm -hmm. the residue that are handless improperly scattered to other areas and cause the area to be closed down. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Uh, number two, we already mentioned that is when an employee dies in an accident operated in a machine. In this case, that will be the the meaning, the definition. Okay, property damage. Rodrigo? Can you repeat me, please, teacher? Okay, uh, what will be the definition for property damage? Um, let me see. Mm. Machines often break down. Okay, yes. Very good. Thank you. Loss of customers. Julio, what will be the definition for loss of customers? Okay, um, the company uh, loses money. Okay, the company loses money. Okay. Financial lost. Lady. Loss, loses money. So loss of customers is when <laughs> the company... Lost money. Okay, now loss of cost, no, financial loss will be loss. Uh, uh, the company loses money, money. right? Sorry, uh, so loss loss customers. Customer is uh, to another provider business. Uh -huh. when the employee, uh, when the customer switch to another provider or business. Okay, good. Okay, what will be business interruption? Uh, Maria Leticia. Is the production stops. When the production, the production stops. stops. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, now think about the rank that you are going to give this risk and hazards at the workplace. From the least serious will be number six and the most serious number one. This, and then we're going to discuss then with a partner, okay? Um, we have financial loss, loss of trust in the organization, loss of customers, business interruption, property damage, and casualties. The list, the last series, number six, like the less, uh, the less important, right? But the most serious will be number one. So try to rank them between one to six, okay?
Okay. <clears throat> I need two volunteers. Raise your hands, two volunteers. Uh -huh. Only you're going to discuss between you, okay? The rank that you have provided to the chart. So, only that. Okay, lady, first volunteer, who else? Another volunteer? Uh, I think the most serious is um, it is the financial loss. Financial loss. Because without, without uh, effective, without uh, money, you can do anything. Okay, do you agree, lady? No, I disagree. So, uh, because it's the most, most serious casualties. Okay. Because it's the life, the persons, but persons. Okay, what do you think, Rodrigo? Uh, well, I see it in, in, in the case of my company. It, it turns around uh, of, about the money. We work the, with the money, we work with uh, credit terms. So if you don't have uh, the cash flow or you don't have a uh, with some provider uh, providers uh, the credit terms uh, in our case you can do anything okay so that that's why I, I my position is the financial loss uh, if you think uh, uh, with a colder mind you can replace people that is the sal the sad uh, history in this case for many companies. You can replace people. So, uh, well, that is true. that, that is just... that is not the that is not the that is not the way, right? But you know, uh, the company uh, ha uh, has not uh, any any emotions, any any sentimental. Uh, thinking we're just a number <laughs> so as an employee we are, we are just a number so mm -hmm. they can replace yes. it easily. Yes, you are a number uh, you can Sadly, be the yes. best you can be the best employee in in all in all terms in all terms but uh, there is many people behind you can take your place Mm -hmm. And maybe in, with the help of your salary. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, sad, it's but... a shame. It's a shame, but yeah. <laughs> it's real. Okay. Thank you seeing so that much. employees do not matter, teacher. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, yes. <laughs> I, I I have an example, a curious example of this. Uh, in months ago, we have a good, good, an excellent, I think, sales manager. Mm -hmm. uh, she closes many business. She recovers so many customers that we had lost in the past, but. Uh, they uh, she didn't receive the uh an equal i think an equal salary so uh, she benefits she, uh, no no benefits uh, i think uh, the benefits are uh, are low uh, were low so she she take a uh, she she took a decision and go out 
to pay. And now the the the, the company, uh, I think the company reflection is oh we lost uh, we lost Gabriela so uh, the numbers told us that. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's a. Parece chiste, pero es realidad. But that was too late when they realized. <clears throat> Actually, she, she have she have a good a good a good work. She gains the double of payment uh, and has many benefits. So, uh, I I have uh, some. I have a, a a friendship with her, and sometimes we talk about the company, and we we lost because, uh, we lost we lost her, and and she, and she knows that, and she tell me uh, Rodrigo, if if the company pay me uh, pay me or, or equal my actual salary, I can go I can I can come back, but. Meanwhile, I I don't I I I I will I won't return. <laughs> okay. Well, so if you if if you let then her I mean if you let the company knows that maybe they can consider. <laughs> they know it, but they will not pay the double of the salary. They not the uh, uh, equal the the sal of the actual salary of her. Okay. Well. Thank you so much, Rodrigo and uh, lady, for your opinion here. Okay. So now I need another two volunteers and tell me uh, what will be the uh the the least serious. Okay, Andres. Thank you. Who else? Another volunteer, but not the ones that already participated in the previous one. So someone that haven't participated. We have Andres and Mauricio, okay. So Andres, for you, tell me what is the least serious? Let me... Someone is calling on this. I'm sorry. This is teacher. not time to receive calls on this. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, teacher. I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, for me, teacher, the less is business interruption. Because we have the last experience from the pandemic that many companies stop or interrupt the business for that reason. Mm -hmm. But they right now in those years or oh, two years ago from the pandemic, they grow up the activities. They, mm -hmm. are, they are working again. So... For me, the less because I know, we know that one company can stop from one year, for one day, from one month, or from one year, the activities in this co in their companies, mm -hmm. but they can start again. So, uh, for me, it's the less. Always that we is... can start. Again. Okay, good. Thank you so much, uh, Andres. What about you, Mauricio? Yes, teacher. Um, I agree with uh, Andres because uh, uh, the company maybe can have a business interruption, but uh, that not means uh, uh, um, that uh, have to to stop the the uh, forever. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just for a for a for a little, a little time, and they can continue uh, once they 
pass that situation. Okay, very I good. Think. Okay. I agree with uh, Andres. Thank you so much. Okay, good. Least. So you pronounce this least, but it means less also, less serious, okay? Yes. <clears throat> but it's not the same. Well, thank you so much for your participation here. Um, now we have another activity that is a group activity. So we're going to work the rest of the time in this activity. And tomorrow you're going to present. Okay, so we're going to go online. So we're going to browse for a national or international case of business organization affected by risk or hazards that were not controlled effectively, okay? You're going to find out the hazards or risks that cause the business to get in uncontrollable situation, okay? We're going to list the business consequence caused by the hazard risks that went beyond control. And then we're going to prepare, prepare a slide presentation to share the results, okay? So you're just you're going to give a brief introduction about that uh, business, what happens and why. And then you are going to present like the the, the consequences, right? The cause that they uh, went beyond control. So all the, the information that is here. Okay, so keep, if you know one of them, Right. If you have in mind one of them, so one of one company that that was affected or a white business, so you can search about that company. Okay, good. So let me break out the rooms. Hmm. <clears throat> So how many students do we have right now? Let me see, we are 17. Just a moment. Okay, let me tell you the ones that I have in the same room. But if I have someone that is just as a listener, I'm going to move that person, okay? So the first room, I have Cindy, Julio, Lady, and Rodrigo. All of you are here? Yes? Yes, Miss. Okay, good. So on the room two, we have Andres, Carlos, and Gilberto. So you three are here, correct? Okay, yes. Then we have in the room three, Daniela, Katy, and Rolando. Daniela, are you here? Are you working here? Yes, or are you as a listener? Okay. In the room four, we have Roberto, Maria Leticia, and Nancy. Are you here, Nancy? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. In the room five, we have Gabriela, Mauricio, and Sofia. Sophie, are you available? Yes, teacher. And Gabby and Mauricio. Okay, very good. So we are good now. So let me open the rooms. Only room one has four um, students, okay? Do you have questions before we um, start this activity? I'm going to send the, the image <laughs> in the chat, okay? Going to send the image about these uh, steps that you're going to follow. So just let me open the rooms. And I will be there in a few minutes checking what you are doing.
Rodrigo. Sure. Yes, Sophia. I can connect uh, to the to the room. Why, Sophia? You don't have any in, in, in the invitation. Okay, let me move you to another group, and then I will move you to to number five again. I, I I'm I have a uh. chart in this moment so are you in the number five four Do you have the same problem, right? Yes, the the message is uh, returning to the main group. Main. Please main return group. to the main, and then I will uh, try to send you to the room five. I return to the main. Can you return to the main station? Yes. Yes. Okay. Try to go to the main station. You're saying the main. Ah, oh, that is weird. Okay, let me let me move you to the room four, and then I will uh move you again to the room five. Okay. I'm on the room five or in the room You are four? In, in room five. You should be okay. in room five. Okay. Okay, la voy a mover al cuatro solo para ver si la puedo mover y después del cuatro la voy a mover al cinco. Okay? Okay. Nacional o internacional. Ahí se me va a poner a buscar uno. Hola. Sí. Hola, hola. hola. Les puedo sugerir el que se dio en Freon de un muchacho. No sé si vieron la noticia. Era un muchacho de que este, al parecer no estaba usando el equipo adecuado y se cayó. Excelente, podría ser. Sí, podría ser eso. Sí, podría ser ahí. Lo voy a escribir a um, quien haría la diapositiva. Eh, bueno, yo estoy en, mi, en el cel, no sé si alguien de ustedes está en la, en la compu ahí. No, yo sí estoy en el cel, de hecho he tenido problemas para entrar al, 
al grupo ha estado con la teacher ahí intentando, okay. porque no sé si es el internet del cel o qué, pero no me da okay, ok, entonces no sé si una secuencia de promo para dejar el promo general y ahí, ahí se mete al vertical para sacarlo para ver Okay. Sí, sí. ¿Tú? No, no, no. ¿Puedo bajar el sí. Ajá. Yo ya de la clase, clase, estoy en la Ya, a mi compañero la. Ajá, es que como estoy en el trabajo. No, no. Ahorita sí, sí, sí me voy a mantener ya porque no, no puedo. No puedo. A menos que escribamos las cosas y después veamos. Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces, ¿Tiene el caso entonces la noticia. No, perdón. Tiene el caso la noticia. El muchacho de Freo me decía. Sí. Yo recuerdo que Obviamente. salió en, en, en las redes sociales. Sí. Ajá, porque no, no. Que lo, lo que hay que buscar los detalles salga la reunión de uh -huh. paso para poder anotarlo si no gusta más o menos si no este bueno en base a lo que que se decía la noticia que él estaba trabajando en la altura verdad está haciendo eh, pintura en el techo y pero no estaba utilizando el arnés uh -huh. verdad que es el que que es el que le da seguridad, ¿verdad? Es que es, es un equipo que, eh, de seguridad industrial que es obligatorio usarlo. Entonces, habría que ver la, el por qué no lo está utilizando en ese momento, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, básicamente eso es lo que se dijo, aunque después no sé si que lo, lo trataron de, de, de maquillar o qué, pero decían que al final... Eh, dentro de la aptosia parecía de que él le había pegado un infarto ah. entonces, eh, y entonces sí estaba usando el equipo otro de los comentarios que se dio ¿verdad? yo la noticia al final pues este no sé cuál de cuál fueron las verdades uh -huh. <coughs> uh -huh. Entonces nosotros podemos exponerlo de las dos diferentes maneras, vea, a la larga, este, o de una sola manera, no sé. Digamos que no está utilizando la red, no está utilizando su equipo de seguridad industrial, vea. Uh -huh. Sí, porque uh -huh. yo creería que aunque te dé infarto, pues, que has colgado, vea, si tienes el arnés wow. pues. Exacto, exacto. Uh -huh. Ahí está el punto, tiene lógica, sí, si le hubiera dado infarto igual hubiera quedado colgado, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero el, el, el uso de arnés en, la, en alturas o en ese tipo de actividades es obligatorio. Sí, entonces ahí también podemos mencionar una falla, porque ahí nos dice que veamos este cuál fue la falla que no fue controlada efectivamente. Entonces estaríamos hablando que probablemente la supervisión no controló en ese momento que el empleado no estaba utilizando su equipo uh -huh. de seguridad. ¿Verdad? Ah, mientras... Y yo no. Sí, sí. Este, okay. Okay. Solo okay. es de, de, de ir anotando los puntos para agregar ah, a la presentación. Sí, sí. sí. Va, entonces anotemos, va, el nombre de la compañía es... Anthony, Anthony Fashion. Fashion. Uh -huh. Compañía Anthony Fashion. la cual mantenía como uno de los... Sus, sus oficinas administrativas centrales, podría. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Estaba en Nueva York. En las Torres Gemelas. Uh -huh. <coughs> Ok, va, entonces ahorita ya, ya tenemos ahí este, una empresa va, que fue este, afectada por riesgos y peligros. 
que no fueron controlados. Ahora, descubra cuál fue el peligro o el riesgo que hace que la empresa se encuentre en una situación incontrolable. Eh, ¿cuál, fue uno, ¿Cuál fue el peligro? Mantener su capital centralizado. Ajá, en un solo lugar. En un solo lugar o en un solo país. Mantener su capital. ¿Qué más podríamos agregarle algo otro peligro que, que, que afectó a la compañía? Uh, podría ponerse no haber tenido como un plan establecido ante un riesgo. Una, un posible riesgo. Uh -huh. Entonces sería una falta, falta de un plan de acción para como para hacer frente a un riesgo. Hello, are you working, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay. Vi que lo busqué, Katy, pero no me aparece. <laughs> Quiero ver. De veras. Sí, pero. Um, si gusta, le voy a. Vamos a ver, lo voy a volver a buscar. El enlace. El enlace. Y no, como inundación lo busco, ¿cómo fue que dice? América. Yo le puse American Park, se inunda. Y me parece okay. que No aparece va. Aquí creo que está. Ahí está uno. Vamos a ver, en El Salvador. Calles inundadas en América parte al fuerte lluvia de este sábado. Del 2010. El internet está malo también, ¿verdad? Bueno, en mi zona. Uh -huh. Sí, está mero lento. No tengo acceso mucho. ¿no? He tenido que pasarme al, al internet que me pone la empresa. Uh -huh. Pongamos Starlink. <risa> <risa> Yes, it's your story. Yes, um, I I have heard a, a lot of uh, comments, good comments about that company. Okay. But I don't know how. Have you experienced, or do you know someone that has that that kind of internet? Eh, 
Yes, I, I have in a in a group of Facebook that's made that's her name his name is Starling El Salvador. But I saw a lot of comments that maybe it's good, it's good internet. Mm -hmm. Right, maybe but I, uh, I I saw different comments that uh, the there is this like the the saying uh, that the others companies that we have in the country, in our country. Yeah, it's possible that it's faster, yeah. a little faster, but it's almost the same. Mm -hmm. Yes. The advantage is that you can have it in an in whatever you are. I mean, in a remote place where you can have yes. just electricity. Yes. Uh huh. You can Teacher, put the, the 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 idea and the, in the in this country that is from years ago from happy. Mm -hmm. You know, if someone remember happy, it's like that because you have a router that you can take it wherever you go and mm -hmm. you have internet. But the connection are very bad so for that mm -hmm. reason. I know that this company broke up, but so, they didn't. Uh -huh. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't so, work. Yes. Ya tengo una que me recuerdo este a este Carlos. Okay. ¿Cuál es? Este, los chorros. Los chorros. Sí, cuando fue la pandemia, la lluvia de no me acuerdo bien. Fue hace como un año, un año y medio. Uh -huh. Hace dos años casi que que una tormenta que estaba y que se derrumbó esa parte y fue que <coughs> este que cómo se llama que cerraron operaciones por dos años más o menos que mandaban a toda la gente por constitución ¿no? esa vez fue No sé si. Teacher. Yes. Uh, lo que usted necesita o, o, la, o la que indicación menciona es como buscar un caso bien específico de una organization, business <coughs> organization. Ajá, uh -huh. it could be an organization. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. For example, uh, one of your teams is already working on one case that was uh, with... Ay. What is the name of this company? Freon. Freon? Mm -hmm. There was one of the employees that have an accident or because he was not using the appropriate uh mm. safety uh -huh. tools. Safety tools. Uh -huh. oh. And they uh -huh. and they said later that it was for because of heart attack. But uh, at the end, we don't know the truth, right? What happens? It could, it could be that was because they were the employee was not using the safety uh, tools. Yeah, and then... to do... uh, what, what, what is the, uh, how do you say, criteria de busca for find out the, the cases of a studio, of a study? <laughs> How to find it, the cases? Yes, in mm -hmm. the in the browser. Um, 
For if you remember one specific case, so you can look for the name of that the, the case, right? But if I if I search in general, mm -hmm. just I can search like a companies. Mm -hmm. Company affected. Affected. By mm -hmm. risk or or hazards. También tenemos el caso, este Carlos. Bueno, tenemos el caso y es porque yo lo estábamos viendo. <ríe> eh, uh -huh. Tenemos un personal, nosotros vamos que le, que le brindamos seguridad a la fiscalía. El caso que se dio en Plena, de que se derrumbó, este, se derrumbó y murieron unos empleados porque no hicieron prácticamente. ¿Cómo se llama? No tomaron las medidas, ¿verdad? De Del suelo. ¿A dónde dice que fue? No, no sé si no viaja noticias. En Santa Elena que se iba ah. hasta subiendo el video. <ríe> ah, ya, y cuando ya, ya. se iba derrumbando ahí todo y los empleados estaban abajo. Uh -huh. sí, you can work sí. on that case, yes. Sí, es cierto. Sí, eso fue bien peligroso. Uh -huh. Sí. Vamos a ver. Bastante lento. Sí. En construcción de la fiscalía en San Pedro. Ok. Aquí está. Kevin McDill Hernández, se tiene 28 años, tenía nueve días de trabajar en la construcción del edificio de la Fiscalía de Santa Elena. Sí, bueno. Ahí está. Dice, un trabajador falleció y dos lesionados por derrumbe en construcción de obra. Aquí está. Yes, you can search on that, you can work on that specific case. Mm. Te voy a mandar, Carlos, ahorita. El grupo. Vaya, vaya. Aquí Al está. Del, del ah, WhatsApp, eh, ah, eso. No, 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 del, del, del Zoom. Ah, del Zoom. Ahí oh, se lo acaba de Gráfico. Vamos a ver. Ahí están las medidas de seguridad, cabal. Ya se fue la teacher. No, I'm here. Ah, ok. Ya va a descansar, teacher. Why? It's close to... Oh, to complete this the model. The model is almost yes, finished. Two extra classes. But I guess yeah. we're going to start on Monday again because uh, then we have until December. Let mm -hmm. me see. We start on Monday. That is 13. With other models. Yeah, we can. We are going to end around maybe uh, December 15. December and, 15, you, you will finish. Okay, if we start the model, yes. Um, Next week, we're going to end around December 15. And then uh, I guess it will be until January. Really? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, because wow. we take vacations like one month. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the next model is intermediate. Three. Three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nosotros. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you will be in intermediate three. Yeah, yeah I listen and teach it in, in in YouTube video. Uh, the the ones the months uh, specific months that it's, they they say that he says about to consume in English hours and mile hours to consume in English, but uh, this is the way to learn in English. Okay. Yeah, the most you practiced. 
the most you learn, right? So yes, if you yes. practice a lot, if you are uh, listening, writing, reading, speaking, so you will master all the skills. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is bad. Uh, the way of the road is very long. It's very long. It is, yes. We never stop learning, so yeah, you see yes. that in all different areas, we never stop learning. Yes, you, but yes, you will be course. every day, you will be better, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So I, I, I need to go to the last group and then I will close the tea, the, the session, well, the, the rooms at 9.59, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. See you at the main station. Ah, de la presa gráfica, eh, para Andresito. Hello, hello. How is everything? Hey, working on that teacher. Okay. We almost closed the, the, the rooms because uh, it's almost time to close the session. Um, but tomorrow you will have extra time to complete the activity if you haven't completed yet, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Rodrigues. Compartí dos archivos más porque eh, lo primero era el contexto general, pero eh, que aparece como interrogante aparecen estos dos, dos ítems que son. Ahí los agregué, que es el listado de, de las consecuencias en los negocios y la parte de riesgos. ¿Todos los vamos a poner en la presentación? Eh, ahí es donde mm, necesitamos ver eso porque sí es bastante información. Eh, lo que pasa es que en, ambos, en los dos últimos archivos son listados, de, de, por ejemplo, de los riesgos y de las consecuencias que se tuvo en los negocios. La verdad es importante, pero no sé si valoran ubicarlo todo. Sí, porque se tiene que hacer una lista, sí. Bueno, quizás mañana vamos a tener que seguir haciendo eso, porque sí siento que es mucho para la presentación. Sí, es bastante. La verdad, toda es información valiosa, pero sí es bastante. Tal vez mm, podríamos hacer un, una síntesis. ¿Qué opina, Rodri? Me parece, sí, o sea, hay, hay que resumirlo, me parece. Hello. Okay, so we're going to continue tomorrow. <clears throat> but do you have the idea, Rodri? Do you have the ideas about the activity, what, what will be included in each point? Yes, yes, teacher. Actually... One of the girls are 
he she is doing the the presentation okay good Welcome back, everyone. Okay, good. So um, I have been checking all the, the teams, all the groups, and I can see that you are still working. So you are um, in the process, right, to complete the presentation. It's okay. Tomorrow I will give you extra time to complete that presentation, and you can present it, okay? So... If you have time before the class tomorrow, try to work to 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 work in more details if you can see there. That will help you, okay, to reduce the time that you will spend working on that activity once that you are in the class. Okay, that will be all for today. Thank you so much for your time, for your uh, for your assistance, attendance today. See you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Have, Have a good, good night, night, teacher. Good night. See you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Take care.